on this exciting episode, Owl Cryptids. Whether you refer to them as Harpies, Mothman, Owlman, Ascalapis, or Lalachusa, they're probably the same creature. And I also want to share with you my owl photographs that I've taken from 2018 to 2020. If you find this topic interesting, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the bell. And if you have any comments about the owl cryptid, please leave them below. I'd love to hear them. Hello, my name is Jenna Bosiger, and you're watching Cryptic Cryptids. On this episode, we're going to be taking a look of owl cryptids throughout history. First, the Greek mythology and the owl cryptids that come from there. And then there's La Lechuza of the Mexican folklore the Cornish Owlman from the UK, and the similarities that it shares with the Mothman. They might even be the same creature. I also wanted to share with you why some owls and owl sightings have been connected with UFOs and gray alien cryptids. And then finally, I want to share with you my owl photographs, mostly from one owl in particular that took a liking to me one summer, this summer in 2018. So before we really go and mention the cryptids in Greek mythology, I have to address Athena's owl. And Athena is a central character in Greek mythology. She is, well, she was known as the goddess of war and wisdom. And that is how owls became associated with being wise. This is where it all originated from. It still persists to this day. The idea of the wise old owl. So Athena was a giant and the owl was described as small. She had a special relationship with this owl and it was always seen on her shoulder. And Athena is is always associated with owls. Also had these coins with one side had her face and the other side had her owl, Ascalapus. Now, in my mind, in, when reading about the story of Ascalapus and Persephone, it seems to me like it was a cryptid owl sighting and that it happened near some caves. And what's really cool about this Greek mythology is that, you know, you have this really old story about Ascalapus, the owl monster or the owl man. And it even says where this took place. There's a temple there in Greece um, built around it. And what it says about the temple from people who've actually gone and been there is that the underground cave looked amazing. You weren't allowed to go all the way in, but this is where this encounter with Persephone, another giant, I'm pretty sure she was a giant, and this owl cryptid happened. And it's just very interesting just that, you know, you have the story, which is supposedly a myth. I think that the core story is true. Well, and the core story being Persephone was there. She was a giant. She had an encounter with a owl cryptid and named it Ascalapus. Harpy is a half bird, half human. Their name means snatchers or swift robbers. Oh, look, it says in this form, they were agents of punishment. Now that part I don't believe, but this part I do. It says who abducted people and tortured them on their way to Tartarus. Now for me, you know what that says? They abducted people and it was torture for them when they dropped them in the nest to feed the babies. All right, let's take a look at La Lechuza of Mexican folklore. They are very afraid of the Mexican owl monster. Not unlike calling cryptids monsters, but that's how they've been referred to a lot. I definitely have a problem when I see 
the word witch, and I know that people have different definitions of the word witch and, you know, different cultures of what a witch is, but based on the history, when witches, when the word witch is used to describe something in that sort of negative way, the same way that that was used to murder thousands of innocent women and men, um, the smartest ones too of the time, by the way. I don't like that. That doesn't mean I don't believe in this legend. This creature was seen by three different people, all swore to seeing it, and they each drew their own picture of what they saw. This one says, Birdman monster seen on July 3rd, quite late, but not quite dark, red eyes, black mouth. It was very big with great big long wings and black claws and gray feathers from a little girl. And she says, I saw this monster late last night. It looked like a man. Then it flew up through the trees as big as a man. Its eyes were red and they shined brightly. That's what it says. Seeing an owl, seeing the eyes would make somebody maybe have a flashback to being abducted by great aliens. I've listened to interviews by someone named Mike Cleland on the subject and I found it very interesting. And I think it's worth mentioning the Mothman from Point Pleasant, Virginia because he has a lot of similarities to the Owl Man. And like I said, all of these could be the same cryptid, the same species. Okay, I wanna talk about my experiences with Owl. Well, it started when I took out the trash and I looked down on the ground and I found an owl feather and I was like, oh, oh. And then I looked up and there was an owl on my roof looking down at me and you know, of course I ran and got my camera and it was a really big deal. And what ended up happening is that this owl, just this one owl, for some reason took a liking to me. And I don't know why, but every, so then after that, every time in the evening, I would go out looking for the owl and then I would be like looking for it and then I would see it and it would be like watching me look for it. It was really cute. And then finally, we just sort of started meeting at the same place, which was, you know, in my yard. And it would, um, I think it was a boy, I don't know. He would get up on the um, wall there and just hang out. And right before, and then right, you know, uh, it would be so hot at this part of the year. It was in Indio, so hot that sweat would just be, I wouldn't be doing anything but sitting there taking pictures and sweat would be rolling down my face rolling down the backs of my legs I mean and I just I could barely breathe it was over 100 degrees and I didn't care I would just be out there and then as night when night would come all the cicadas would like start they come come in all at once and then um, then they their eyes would start glowing and then they would all take off and take off for the night I'm sure to go hunting but what it ended up being was that um, there was a mother owl that lived nearby, near um, next door in this like drainage thing, and she had two babies. And like I said, one of the babies took a liking to me, and the reason I got pictures of the other two was just because he was there, and they wanted to be. Well, the, ba the other brother or sister was just copying him. And then the mother was just there to kind of like, oh my gosh, try to keep these two owls in control because they were just babies. And they were like, you know, hanging, trying to hang out with a human, which she probably didn't like. It was sad because there was this, we get these wind storms in Indio that would last three or four days. And the start of one of these wind storms, I saw him on the end, edge of the roof way over there. And um, he was getting blown about, but it wasn't even big time wind yet. But, um, it was like he was saying goodbye and that was the last I saw of him.
2018, that, that same year, and I had this other owl encounter in the wild. And the way that that happened was we were walking around and I heard this bird and the bird was just yelling. The bird was so upset, you could tell. And so I wanted to go see why. And I found the bird that was yelling and it was yelling at this owl in this dead tree. And so I was really excited to find that. What happened was, oh my God, I got up one morning and I look in the pool and there was a baby owl in the pool. I just ran into the pool. And actually, so I, I rescued bugs at, out of that pool daily, hourly. I'm just, what I did, I did it like obsessively. And so I had this broom that was nearby that I rescued things with. So, you know, I just grabbed my broom, it was my rescue broom, and I ran into the water, and then I lifted him up with my broom, and then I brought him over to the edge, and then I ran and got a towel, and then, oh, he was shaking, and so I got him back um, to being good. I saved his life. Last thing I want to talk about is this UFO sighting. I only had one UFO sighting in Indio. Maybe I saw a little one UFO sighting, and the thing about this UFO sighting was that it was the UFO was up close and personal. I it was a light night, the moonlight was shining bright. I was standing there with my camera in my hand looking for UFOs. So I was turned facing this direction. The UFO came in the exact direction I was facing. So I looked, I saw it when it was coming, looked directly at it, flew towards me, flew in front of my face. There was a palm tree in my yard over there. It was between me and the palm tree. That's how close it was. And then it flew away. It wasn't moving that fast either. There was no wind, like from it swooshing by. There was no sound, really. But I can't tell you what the UFO looked like because I don't know what I was looking at. And my brain, my brain you don't realize how intertwined your brain and your eyes are. I don't even know if you can see things that you don't know. Like, I saw it, but... Now, okay, so as it was moving away, there is an image in my mind, a square with some grid, grid panel on it, like... And then maybe some balls at the end. And the fact that I saw it, looked at it, watched it, I saw it right in front of me. And I can't tell you what I saw is so uh, frustrating. The way this relates to the owls is I was out in my yard at night a lot during that time and I could hear the owls at night. I didn't know they were owls. I didn't know what they were. I knew that they were nearby and they were like, I don't know what they were doing. It wasn't long after that, like a day or two that I um, found the owl feather and then, you know, discovered the owl that liked me. But I got these amazing shots of these adorable owls. They're so cute. And then I painted like how many owl paintings did I do? One, two, okay, five, six, seven. And then I did like seven, seven owl paintings. So tell me what you think about owls, owl sightings, owl cryptids. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Cryptic Cryptids. And if you like this topic and want to hear about more things similar, 